Tell me about these arrests. Tell me about this uh, alleged plot. Well, this was uh, put out in a statement by the Israeli Prime Minister's office. According to that statement, it appears that a man in Gaza, through Skype, through Facebook, uh, recruited a man in East Jerusalem uh, to carry out a rather mastermind a series of terrorist attacks uh, within Israel. According to this statement from the Prime Minister's office, uh, this man would have traveled uh, from here to Turkey and from Turkey into Syria, where he would receive a training, military training. Then he would come back to Israel, join up uh, with jihadis who would have entered the country with forged Russian passports, and those jihadis would have attacked the American embassy in Tel Aviv, the convention center here in Jerusalem, which isn't very far from the CNN office. In mm -hmm. addition, they would have attacked an Israeli bus in the West Bank as well. Now, this man who lives in East Jerusalem was arrested uh, by the Israeli police on the 25th of December. So this does seem to be a fairly complicated plot. It's not altogether clear how far along it was. Hmm. Brooke? Ben, so I'm clear um, on the arrest. You talk of one man. We're hearing from Israeli security. It's arrested three. Do we know if there are others? There are three, but this, they only named one of them. Now, what's really sort of disturbing or worrying in this whole uh, scenario is the whole Syria angle. Just yesterday, I was speaking with a senior Israeli analyst, intelligence analyst, who said that they fear as many as 10,000 foreign jihadis are currently operating in northern Syria. And we know there are wide swathes of the country which are, in fact, controlled by these jihadis. So it appears that uh, this may be increasingly a source of trouble, not just for Israel, but many countries around the world.